Welcome to Paul Work with uh, Dan Bizarro. Today we're going to work with a zigzag of six poles. These few poles allow for a multitude of bending exercises, as well as improving the, the straightness, as we will, we will see. To set it up, you just need six poles, uh, three meters long. Um, a very good tip for setting it up is to place two lunge lines on the arena uh, floor to mark the center line, and then start forming a V with two poles over the center line uh, at X, and then add the other poles, as you can see in the, in the diagram. We're going to start uh, walking some big loops using the serpentine of uh, poles and we're going to start walking straight and in the center of the first pole and then do three quarters of a circle to find ourselves straight in front of the second pole and we carry on that way all the way to the last one. This exercise can be done in, uh, in trot as well but start um, doing it in walk, give your horse time to understand the questions give your horse time to loosen up the body. If it feels a little bit tight, a little bit uncertain to start with, carry on with your uh, repetition and it will get better soon. Working with those big loops will encourage frequent and exact brain changes which will help improving the suppleness and the flexibility of your horse. When your horse is happy doing the, the big loops, we can move on to the second exercise, which requires doing some tighter loops, again using every pole from the first one to the last one, going straight and in the center of each one of them, but this time, rather than doing three quarters of a circle, we're just going to do one quarter of a circle. You can use the zigzag of poles to improve your serpentines in trot and in canter as well. Um, here I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, um, examples of how you can, you can use the zigzag to improve that. Um, there will be a couple of easier approaches, there will be a couple of more difficult approaches um, from the pointy um, side of the, of the V. If your horse doesn't understand the question straight away, don't be afraid to add a corridor of poles approaching the zigzag that can help your horse to understand the exercise better. Another very useful and fun way of using this, uh, this exercise is to go in trot right along the center line. Um, don't be fooled though, it might look like a, like a simple exercise but you really need to have your horse between your legs and hands for him to go straight across the angled poles. As you can see, the first time that um, I tried to do this exercise with Digby, he didn't really get it, and uh, he was going a bit all over the, all over the place, right and left. But you know, with a bit of a, with a bit of uh, practicing, um, I was actually really happy with uh, how he did it the last time, and he was uh, truly focused on my aids rather than uh, on the angled poles. Enjoy training your horse with this very useful exercise. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, that you follow us on Facebook and that you keep up to date with the dance clinics on dbeventing.co.uk forward slash training.